Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kirema, and on my channel, I am sharing with you all my debt-free journey, my road to financial freedom, and how I am building generational wealth. I don't know why I'm saying I, because it's not just me. It's me and my husband doing this for our kids, doing this for ourselves, doing this for our family. If you're new here, or if you're just stopping by, I wanna say welcome and thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning friend, returning accountability partner, returning supporter, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you guys very much for doing that and holding me accountable. I love going on this journey with you all and I like to see your progress and your videos also. I break up my check-ins so that I check in four times a month, regardless of how many weeks are in the month. It is still just four check-ins. So this check-in was from September 1st through the 8th. This one was September 9th through the 15th. This one is for September 16th through the 22nd. So this is what we're going to do right now together. And so for fun money, which is also kids fun, I ended last week with $5. So that means on the 16th, I should have had $5 there and I still have the $5 because I haven't spent it. So that one is good. Go ahead and lay it down over here. Now, dining. Dining, I ended on the 15th with zero. So I'm starting, oh, why didn't I do this? Okay. So I start, I ended on the fit. Let's just act like what I did just didn't happen. So the fit, we had $5. So I am not adding anything from my budget because we haven't gotten paid and I've spent zero and my difference is zero. And I still have those $5 in here. So that's still there. Okay. Now let's go on to dining. Dining, I had zero. We'll go ahead and zoom in just because I know some of you like to see everything up close. Dining, we ended with zero. And we added zero. We spent zero. You can't spend anything when you have zero and we still have zero in dining. On toiletries on the 15th, we ended with two dollars and i've added nothing because we haven't gotten paid and i spent those two dollars and the difference is zero and my monthly balance for that envelope right now is at zero and then my beauty envelope i still have 50. so i ended my beauty envelope last week with 50. i've added zero i spent zero zero and i still have fifty dollars in that envelope my gas and groceries is at zero i had 43 dollars at the end of last week i've added zero and then i spent 43 and the difference is zero and now i have zero and so Let's go ahead and see, for this week, I've added a total of zero. I spent a total of $45. Here's what I spent a total here. And then zero. Right now, at the end of this week, I have $55 in my cash envelopes altogether. I have five in fun money and then 50 in my beauty envelope. And that is correct. When we look here, there's the five, which is for fun money. And then the 50 from beauty. So the spending that I did was here in toiletries and in uh, gas and groceries. 
So let's go ahead and put that over here in our transaction log. And for toiletries, it was on the, give me a second, let me look really fast. It was on the 16th. I spent the two dollars. Difference is zero. See right here, toiletries. I had the two dollars and I spent it, and now I have zero here. And then the gas and groceries. It was also on the 16th, and that was the forty-three dollars. See, it shows here. 43 spent that difference is zero now my balance there is zero okay so here we are in calendar view and all the spending that I did within these two weeks are these transactions up here I haven't laid them down in calendar view I already said that earlier I don't know why I feel the need to say that again <laughs> Maybe because I have my coffee sitting here and I haven't drank any. So let me just take a sip. I am trying out this new coffee creamer. It's Amaretto. It's not new. It's been around, but it's new to me and I love it. Clear on our rental property for $399.06. So check mark there. And then our mortgage did clear for $1,454. Check mark there. And also on the first, I went to get ice cream for the boys and it was $37 and I don't, I just always let them keep the change. They have a little tip jar there and I let them put it in there and that was also on the first. Oh my goodness, I need to go get my tweezers because I'm not going to like laying these down with my fingers. Give me one second, I'll be back. So we got ice cream. On the first, that was for $38. And then I did do $50, $52 to our nonprofit. We had budgeted out only $50 for this month. And then with the transaction fees, it comes out to 52, like 51 something, but I just rounded up to 52. So that cleared on that day. And then the health insurance that I've had for a very long time. I don't know if you're familiar, but Humana Insurance used to have medical and dental their medical insurance went away when i was pregnant with my third baby and i was like in the middle of my pregnancy which was terrible i don't know why they i don't know what happened but anyways they did away with their medical and they just kept their dental and i've had that dental insurance policy for a very long time since 2011 i believe and i don't plan on letting it go because this one combined with my other policy, it helps me save a lot of money just because I do like my regular cleanings and all that jazz. So on the third, we did go to Tropical Cafe, the boys and I did. And oops, and these stickers, these are rather big. So I can put these ones down by myself without ruining anything. So we did go to Tropical Cafe. We spent $32. We always get the same things while we're there. We just, I don't know. I like it. They like it. What I get is I get the buffalo chicken wrap with extra chicken and it's so good. If you haven't been there before and you like buffalo chicken, get that. It's so good. The boys, they get the three cheese chicken quesadilla. Oh no. I just realized that I'm covering up this one right here don't like that anyways we'll put this here and we'll know that it belongs on the third but like I was saying my boys they get the three cheese chicken quesadilla and they really really like it and then they have some really good smoothies too they have like a detox smoothie naturally I like to make my smoothies at home because I can control the amount of sugar that goes in there that goes in them but if you're out and about and you want something sweet 
but you're not trying to drink soda or like any more coffee I do like to get a smoothie from tropical cafe and you can also tell them like half the sugar so they won't put all the sugar that they would normally make your smoothie with they just put half like with mine I always just say no sugar and then on my kids I say half the amount of sugar and I don't know what I shouldn't know how much sugar they're putting in there but I don't I just say half and they my kids like it they can't tell the difference I guess because I don't make them that sweet at home to begin with anyways I told you guys that my check-in videos are my more chatty videos so if you're new here and this is your first video watching yeah sorry now we have sam's club for toiletries on the 11th it was 68 dollars. we got some pull-ups oh that was on the 8th my bad we got some pull-ups and we got some wipes. and that'll go down here So this goes over here. So this is actually going to be a no spin day. Help me remember that. If I forget, guys, let me know in the comments. And then over here, our home security that cleared on the 6th for that exact amount. That is a fixed expense. And then the diapers and wipes on that day. And then our electricity bill went out on the 9th. And that was for $219.03. And then also on Monday, after jujitsu, we went ahead and picked up McDonald's. We don't normally eat McDonald's, but every now and then my kids will want McDonald's. And the ninth after jujitsu, the boys were just like, Mom, can we do McDonald's? And so I took them there. Normally it is my mother that takes them to McDonald's. She likes to spoil my boys real quick this is the tracker that i have here i need to update it because it the sinking funds was um it was purple for for halloween but these were just extra i know they don't match they're not all the same size or the same type like i know these are from aaron Condren and these are from another sticker kit but these were left over and I'm not going to just like set them to the side and just waste them. So I'm going to use them even if they don't match. But this is what I've been using for my tracking. So that stays right here. And then on the 14th, I did $100 for groceries and then $97 in gas. And that was on the 14th. That was right here. Okay, so the boys' jujitsu did come out on the 12th for $310, and then our water bill cleared on the 13th for $128.26. On the 13th, our electricity bill, our gas bill, cleared for $34 with 40 cents. And then there was the $100 for groceries, $97 to fill up our vehicles for gas, and then identity protection for $18.99. This is a subscription. It's fixed, and it clears that amount every single time. I accidentally skipped this one. So this here is the sticker that I am using for my sinking funds this month, if I have to use a sinking fund, I will pull it from this one here. Some of you already know that I had to spend $180 from my sinking fund, my medical sinking fund, and it, let me tell you why can't believe I did this. This is what happened. This is why I have to spend $180 from my medical sinking fund. All right. So my boys had bought a snow globe for my mother and they had given it to her and she had left it here at my house and my baby grabbed it 
and he dropped it. When he dropped it, you know, of course it broke and you know everybody was fine. Nobody got cut, nobody got hurt, but I started to clean up the mess of the snow globe. And I was cleaning up, as I was cleaning up the mess, I felt so bad to throw it away because of the personal engraving that the boys had chosen to write on there and the centerpiece of the of the globe. It's it's a beautiful butterfly with flowers and it's just so lovely that I did not want to throw it away. And so I figured that maybe I could, you know, take remove the rest of the glass and salvage the center part so that it could still play music and she would still have the engraving. It would no longer be a snow globe. But I couldn't I didn't want to throw it away because if it was just a regular snow globe with no engraving and nothing personal on it, then I'm sure it, I would have had a different feeling about trashing it. And then plus it's hers, you know, I wanted her to throw it away if that was gonna be the case. And um, I just didn't feel right throwing away the, the snow globe because it was personalized. So what I did was, let's pretend that this is a snow globe, right? And the globe is broken and so now we just have the center piece. Well, all around here was a bunch of like broken shards of glass. And so me, I don't know why I did this, but I got a, one of those meat grind, those meat tenderizer hammer things. Well, I got that from the kitchen and I sit over the trash can and I was breaking off like the pieces of glass that were still stuck on one side. And as I did that, like glass particles, or remnants of glass like came back into my face. I know, dumb, right? I don't know, Ugh. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did that. And as soon as I felt like some glass come back into my eye, I ran away, just like stopped what I was doing, put it down on the counter. By this time, the mess is already cleaned up. Everything's fine, the kids are doing whatever they're just playing around doing whatever they're wanting to do in the meantime and I go to the restroom and I flush out my eye like nobody's business just flushing 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 out my eye and yeah so then I you know my mother I call my mother she comes over as soon as she comes over I explain to her what happened and I go to the eye I call the eye doctor and the eye doctor's like okay if you have glass in there and you've already flushed it you still need to come in here make sure that there's no glass still in your eye because it can travel deeper into your eye if you still have glass in there no matter how small it is so yeah I go to the ER or I go to not the ER it was an emergency visit that's why they saw me that same day but I went to the eye doctor and when I got there I had to sit there and just let her know exactly what happened what I did and I felt so dumb because like I shouldn't have done that now I'm thinking back I would not have done that but just out of you know I don't know I did that and so then there I am I I have medical I have dental but I don't have but my medical insurance doesn't cover vision or eye exams so I had to pay out of pocket and it was like 140 and they flipped my eyelid up they flipped my eyelid inside out they looked through everything they gave me eye drops to open up my eye they didn't see any glass but what they did see was a bunch of cuts on my eye of where I did have glass in there and I guess when as soon as like you gotta imagine like I, I got glass in my eye just from me walking from like my kitchen uh, trash can to my restroom just for me closing my eye and keeping it closed like I was able to scratch my eye to where they had to give me like eye drop antibiotics and then a um it's it was like a moisturizing eye drop so then I had to pay for the prescriptions for that so that's where this uh 180 180 dollars I think the visit was like 130 some 138 somewhere around there and then the rest went to my eye drops to fill my two prescriptions one was for an antibiotic and one was for the um for so that my the antibiotic wouldn't dry out my eye and so when i was there i was telling her like i feel something i still feel it she's like no there's nothing in there and i'm like are you sure are you sure she's like yeah i'm sure what you're feeling is all the cuts from the glass so she said do the eye drops over the weekend and if you're still feeling irritated like around you know the 
the beginning of next week, then call and we'll get you in and we'll see you right away. This Wednesday, that Wednesday, I was feeling fine. There was no more irritation because my eye had healed up. So I was no longer feeling the inflammation and all that stuff. Thankfully, I'm, my vision is fine. It's good. But so now I need to start a sinking fund for VSP, which is an insurance that my eye doctor takes. So I'm going to start that. But that's another topic for another day. But let's go ahead and finish this check-in. And then... I skipped this we had done grocery shopping on the 11th for $200 but anyways that's what happened with my eye and yeah not fun at all but that's what a sinking fund is for right it's for those times that you need money for those certain categories that you are that you know it's gonna come up eventually. So there's that. And then on the 16th, we did get some more groceries. I had spent $43 from my gas and groceries envelope because that's all I had in there. Whoops, sorry guys. That's all I had in there, but I still needed, I was $2 short in that envelope. So that's where I spent the $2 from toiletries to cover the remaining part of my groceries. I had to go get some things that I had to, I had already went to go get some things for Thanksgiving, like our canned goods and stuff that we're going to be using for uh, Thanksgiving. And I had already started shopping for that on this day because I wanted to get my turkey later on over here closer to the day because you know I wouldn't have enough space in my refrigerator to keep a turkey like this entire week so here was when I had spent the $43 on some canned goods and pantry stuff to keep in my pantry to get ready for the holidays and I used the two dollars to cover what I needed out of that expense and then we had, oh, we paid our phone on the 18th, that cleared, and then our family car, that cleared on the 19th for $845 with 20 cents, and then my gym membership cleared for $32.42. These are all fixed expenses, so yeah. And that completes my check-in for the first all the way through the 22nd. So now let's lay down our no spins, shall we? And this is a no spend because this is supposed to be over here, but we don't have space for that. So yeah, and I think I'm gonna be using these little acorns to make my nose spins stand out to me but anyways you guys how are you all doing i have been watching your videos your check-ins and your dead updates and you guys are doing amazing i don't watch a lot of TV so that is how I am able to keep up with your YouTube videos I noticed that everybody uploads around the same time because I'll check my YouTube notifications and I will see like you know it's kind of quiet in my notifications and then all of a sudden, like out of nowhere, I'll have like all these videos to catch up on because everybody seemed to upload at the same time. And I watch them in order. So I will scroll all the way down on my phone to watch the first person that uploaded or the first uploaded new video. And then the next, and then the next, and then the next. And I will pass 
like through a lot of videos that I want to see and I'm like, no, 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 I need to watch this one first because this one uploaded over here first before this one. Yeah, I don't know who else does that or is that just me? But anyways, I am using these little acorns from my fall happy planner sticker book and if you are curious about my setup and where i got any of my stickers then go watch my november budget monthly budget video because that is where i have all my stickers explained where i got them all the links so you can go purchase them if you are curious about where I get my stuff. That is always the video where I have all that information for you all. But yeah. And how are you all doing with your Christmas spending or your Christmas shopping? Why do I say, why did I just say spending? Christmas shopping. I have a couple of things in my Amazon cart that I'm going to be buying for Christmas but I am just waiting to see if anything goes on sale with Black Friday oh that is gonna cover up my nose bend okay and then I have one more nose bend on the 22nd mm -hmm. and we'll just make it go like that so so far let's see what we look like here for our no spins we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight no spins. And we are nearly done with November. And I have three more potential no spins, but if this is Black Friday, then I know that I'm gonna do spending over here, so I might not hit my no spend goal for November, but that's okay. Anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I do want to let you guys know that I have a giveaway on my channel and it is open until the 27th. So if you are watching this and it has not hit the 27th yet, then I encourage you to watch my giveaway video and see if you are interested in joining my giveaway. I will be closing it out on the 27th and then sometime over the weekend, we will be finding out the winners of the giveaway and then that video will be uploaded and I will see you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day, bye.